So, what are we molding anyway? We are using polypropylene beads and if you set the temperature too high, like me, you end up with a little bit of a yellowish part and uh, maybe, yeah, you can see there's even part of the, uh, of the silicon uh, piston head <laughs> inside this uh, piece because uh, that's the piece where the piston broke. Um, if you hit the temperature right, you get a part like this. This part but had some problems with bubbles because I broke pressure too soon. And if you don't put enough in there, we end up with a part that isn't completely full. But what is this anyway? And where did I get it? Um, <laughs> you will laugh, but uh, this isn't actually declared as injection molding material. I got this from Amazon as stuffing filling for teddy bears. Yes, it's sold for like filling up teddy bears and other other plushy stuff uh, toys. But yeah, it's just 100% polypropylene and uh, I can link it in the description. Um, actually, I wanted to mold uh, <coughs> with, with ABS in the first place, but the problem was I weren't getting any ABS pellets, at least not for a price that I could afford. And I <laughs> didn't want to buy 100 kilo from China or something like that. So I looked for other materials and in the end I kind of random found this on Amazon while searching for uh, plastics and pellets and the description said 100% polypropylene so I searched up what is polypropylene and found out polypropylene is actually the stuff they make Tupperware of. So I was thinking hey Tupperware yeah it's it's sturdy so why not and yeah, the, the positive effect of this is uh, you can uh, <clears throat> you get polypropylene easy out of the mold because it doesn't stick to the mold. It basically doesn't stick to anything. And yeah, so I'm <clears throat> actually very happy with this. Uh, one kilogram of this is about uh, 12 euros or 30, 13 euros uh, on Amazon. And I could not be happier with this. Um, I've done a few molds with it and I'm planning to do a lot more with it. Maybe adding some color uh, to it to make uh, black or maybe blue or red parts. But that's a topic for another video.
So, now we're gonna try to get uh, our injection mold out of the form. At first we remove the C-clamp, good C-clamp. And yeah, next thing we're gonna try is pry this thing open. Yes! Oh, that's a very nice part. Actually, we managed to fill the whole cavity. Let me zoom in a little bit. Ah, oh, no, not a full cavity. Oh, no. Do you see this, this little slit down there? That's a... Uh, yeah. That's a hole. <laughs> well, uh, but the part isn't as yellow as last time because uh, I didn't set the temperature as high or I started uh, doing uh, the molding a little bit sooner so it didn't reach the full temperature and all in all it looks actually, actually quite okay. The main problem is now getting this piece out and that's not as easy because it's stuck and well, yeah, there is a there is a way to get this out. It's um, put it in the oven at 200 uh, at 120 degrees, get it soft, and then I can pry it out. Because uh, with the other part, I already tried to pry it out of here when it's cold, and no, it it just won't work. You 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 just break everything, and you don't get it out of the mold uh, in this state. Or maybe when I hit it. Hit the stump with with a hammer. No, no chance. So um, let me just put this in the oven real quick, and then we should be able to get it out of there. So there we are again uh, with the uh, mold fresh out of the oven, and now we're gonna try to get our mold out of there. For this we. Uh, it's not as easy as it sounds, like always. Here she comes. Almost, almost. Yeah, there it is. Whew. That's the worst. Uh, getting the part out, out, out of the mold is, is always the worst. So, putting that up here, uh, throwing that away. Whew. So, here we have our part. Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, also, I have to make quick because my battery of my camera is almost dead. Um, yes, as you can see, we have every detail that I need down here. 
And as you can see, we have a fucking hole. Uh, it's a tiny one, but it's uh, it's where I always had problems before. It's uh, where the part is very flat and I need much pressure. You can see it float down and float around that little part here. So next time I give it a little bit quicker pressure so it fills the whole thing up. But overall I think I can weld this part shut because uh, you can weld polypropylene. And <clears throat> also uh, what's not so nice we have some, some air bubbles in here. But they are tight so I think they won't be a problem. Uh, now all I have to do is trim off excess ah, excess plastics from the sides and then this part is basically done. So and off goes the stem. I mean this part isn't really that pretty because we have <laughs> uh, some aluminium in there, we have some high temperature silicone in there but the red type, not the blue type I used, uh, but now you can see a little bit of the blue type too. So everything that kind of folds into the mold or folds into the heat block gets pushed inside and gets molded into the part. But all in all, I'm quite happy with this again. I mean, this is the, the second time I uh, did uh, the big mold, the small mold for the voila, for the lower side of the part that I want to do is absolutely no problem because I don't need much material. But the big parts are they are have they have too much volume for my for my heat block, so I have to uh, press some material in, fill the heat block with new polypropylene and then press again and that's kind of tricky and I'm still working on improving that process. And uh, in the future I will have some mm, screws in there uh, to mold the threads into the part so I will need less material and according to my cal calculation uh, then I should be able to do it with one press without uh, refilling uh, the material into the hot end. So yeah that's basically it for today. Uh, I hope you like uh, my injection molding part and <laughs> if you consider I did this on a molding machine uh, that's uh, worth materials less than 200 bucks. I think this is a uh, quite quite okay <laughs> mold molded part. So that's it. See you next time.